Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Christy and I'm from Blingy Thingy on Etsy. And um, today I'm just going to be showing you in this tutorial how I took these cute little pop socket minis that I got off the pop socket website and added some rhinestones to them and just blinged them out and they turned out really, really pretty. Um, this is what the pop socket minis look like. If you want to compare the size to, you know, the regular pop sockets, you can tell the little minis are you know about half the size or so but today I just um, I selected the pop socket minis just to kind of show you you can of course do the regular size pop sockets the exact same way so that's what I started out with and then what I used were um, their luxury bling mixes and I carry these in my Etsy shop and there's lots of different um, color assortments available and what they are are high quality glass rhinestones in an assortment of sizes with a few colors mixed together. And there are all kinds of different color um, combinations that you can choose from. There's like a rainbow one and um, a black and gray one, some blues, greens, got some purples. Um, there's all kinds of them. There's like a red mix and they come in two different size packs. You can get them in the little 10 gram jars, which is what I used for this project or you can get them in these um, larger size packs. Today for this project, what I chose was this little jar. And for these two, I actually got straight out of the jar and I did the pop socket mini. And I mean, look at how many um, rhinestones are still left in this jar. So if you're doing little tiny projects, these will go a long way, like for nails or, you know, your little pop sockets and stuff like that. These little 10 gram jars, they'll go a long way but if you're going to do something bigger like a phone case then I would go with these bigger packs I'll leave a link for that the tool that I use to pick up the rhinestones it's my absolute favorite tool it's the yellow wax rhinestone picker tool it's like a little pencil I like to kind of sharpen mine um, where it has a nice sharp tip that's what works for me but um, anyway it's like a dollar ninety nine in my shop it's super cheap and it is my favorite tool so um, the adhesive that I used today on the project was the Liquid Fusion. Um, this worked out really, really well. I like it. I'll leave a link for that. Um, I also put my Liquid Fusion in this little applicator bottle and that worked really, really nice too because you can tell that this tip, it's so tiny that when you're working on something really, really small, like this particular project, it's just really nice to be able to, you know, have this little tiny applicator tool so I'll leave a link for that and then before I started the project I made sure that I cleaned it with alcohol and I filed my pop socket I apologize for the super super nasty looking file but that's what I used it was really simple um, what I did to just kind of prep the pop socket I just took this little file I just kind of went over my pop socket like so, took um, some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and then just kind of wiped it down and then it was prepped and ready to go. Um, so with that, I'm gonna show you this quick little tutorial and I hope it'll be super helpful. 